Amigos, este video viene completamente en español después de la versión en inglés, así que no se me vayan. También les voy a dejar algunos links de mi nuevo canal completamente en español debajo en la descripción del video para que vayan y los chequen y se suscriban. Espero este video se les ayuda. Nos vemos muy pronto. See you on the next one, everyone. Enjoy the video. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the Passion of Fishing. Thanks a lot, everyone, to watch my videos. Thanks a lot for the support. I really appreciate. Thanks a lot to be here today with me again. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to catch the stripers, how to catch the rockfish at this time of the year. We have like a one more left to catch and cook our stripers. <laughs> and what that means? That means that we have like uh, one month to uh, the season uh, close, you know. After that, I think it's December 17, December 16, something like that. One of those days they close the season to keep uh, to keep uh, the stripers, you know, this, the catch and release season is starting December 17, sometimes 16, sometimes, uh, or sometimes 15. And through the uh, April, April 16, most of the time. So for March, four months is gonna be just catch and release. And we have one more left to catch and cook our stripers. That's why I said catch and cook because one more to keep them. Okay, I'm gonna show you today, guys, how I, uh, what I use to catch them, how I fish. Because you guys ask me this question a lot. Hey, Junior, uh, what uh, rigs you use to catch the stripers? What bait? How you do that? What line? So I'm gonna explain you guys uh, what I use. I have in here most of the stuff that I use to fish. First thing, I let's start with this. First thing, the breakaway rig. Very important thing. You have to buy this thing. Okay, I have it here, the breakaway. I have two with me. I have another, uh, another one in my back, but this is the thing you need, guys. Breakaway rig. You can get it. The only place where you can buy this thing is Bass Pro Shop breakaway rig if you can get the, get this kind of sinkers it's going to be better for you uh, but uh, they are a little expensive like six bucks something like that mm. good price anyway because they sometimes they make the difference on the beach fish on the beach or from the pier they give you you know i think they give you more distance in your cast too so this one this kind of sinkers, the breakaway rig. If you don't want to buy this one or you can't, uh, uh, the pyramid sinker is another good option. I normally use uh, uh, my pyramid sinker four, five, and six ounces. I like to start with four ounces, and if we, we have current on the water is moving my bait and my sinker, I like to throw five. If we if we, uh, the water is still moving my sinker, my bait, I like to throw six ounces. Is is what I what I normally do. Uh, your uh, bell, don't forget these things because these things help me a lot. When I have a single bite, I can just go and run and check my rod and wait for that second bite when you uh, set the hook, okay? Because something very important guys when you have a bite in your rod and you hear your your uh, your bell let's let's make an example if you hear your bell and it stops you don't go and set the hook because sometimes the, the fish he gonna come back the second time and it's gonna be hard okay let's let's for example the first time Okay, you get go over there, get your rod kind of kind of slow, kind of slow, uh, kind of slow. Okay, get your rod and wait for the second bite, and then as when you uh, grab your rod, set the hook. Okay, something very important. 
okay, the first time, and it stops. And then he gonna come back the second time. And then you're gonna set the hook, guys. Bell, what else? Oh, you have to have these two in your backpack. Tape for your fingers. That way you don't have to, you, you're not gonna cut your fingers with your line. I like to use, guys, right now in all my reels, I have 30 pounds braid line. 30 pounds is what I'm using right now. Okay, the breakaway rig, the fish finder rig. I, you guys, my, my, most of you guys know the uh, fish finder rig. Basically, the slider. This is slider, remember, is for braid line. And uh, this kind of slider that I have in here. This is something very important, guys. This kind of slider is made it for um, monofilament. And this kind of yellow uh, slider is made for braid line. See, it's for just for this little plastic in here is the difference. It's kind of soft all, all around. That way, uh, okay, I think, it's, I think that's it. And how to rig the, the uh, fish finder rig, guys. I'm gonna camp on here real quick. This is our main line. You're gonna put your main line inside of this hood, and I mean, in this hole on the, on the slider. Okay, this is your main line. And then you have it here. Okay, another thing, to make your uh, rigs for the fish finder rig, I normally use, I, mean, I normally go, if you're fishing from the beach or from the pier, I normally go, this time, I normally go 12, 13 inches. And I, in the past I said 16, but I started using um, 12, 13 uh, inches of liter and it works good too, you know. It's gonna make your cast farther, 13 or 12 inches. Okay, you have your slider in your line and then you're gonna tie your swivel on the end of your main line. Okay, it's gonna be something like that. I'm not gonna make the knot in here. I just wanna show you how this thing works. Okay, this is the fish finder ring, but you have to add your sinker in here on the slider okay come on oh, come on it's gonna be something like that guys see this is um the fish finder rig okay okay what else oh another thing guys so, oh, very important thing, the bait. I always forgot. Right now, we didn't have any bitter crabs in here in Maryland. The alewife or bunker, it's very hard to find them fresh. They didn't sell fresh alewife no more. So it's kind of hard. So right now, I using bloodworms and perch. The last time when I went fishing on the beach, I tried for um, not the first time, but um, after a long time to use the perch, I tried it again. I feel like one little guy about, I, I remember it was like six inch um, white perch. I feel like that guy, I was thinking, okay, let's, I need to throw something fresh to the striper. So I have some uh, perch, I fillet them. Well, I fillet like three or, or two, something like that. And I use them on my hook, on my six, uh, number six circle hook everyone remember that for the striper number six circle hooks is that I use Okay, and I fillet the perch and after 10 minutes I had nice 23 inches striper 23 inches rockfish. Yep, believe me in that one and then my friend, my, my, my cousin Angel, he asked me, hey, what are you using? How you cast the striper on the bloodworms? I said, no, on the perch. So he grabbed one of my fillets, fillets. He put uh, the fillet on the hook with the um, breakaway rig and, uh, and one 
uh, his rod, he have a 12 feet uh, rod, very nice, he just bought it. And okay, he throw the perch and again, after 10 minutes, he got another nice size striper, 24 inches striper. So guys, use this thing. This is the high low rig. You can get this rig, the metal rig at Walmart. This number one J hooks at Walmart too. And your sinkers, number four ounces at Walmart too. Cause if you go to Bastro, it's gonna be a little expensive. So Walmart have uh, some of the stuff that we need. The bells, Walmart had it too. Number one, J hooks. Okay, you're gonna put a little piece, a little piece of blood worm and your hook, you're gonna throw it, catch the perch and try the fillets. I hope you got luck like me. I hope you catch a fish with the perch and let me know if you do that. Let me know if you catch fish, if he, that works for you. Cause I'm gonna try that for the rest of, uh, for the rest of this month that we have. This is the hook that I talking about. Number one, yay hooks. Walmart two, what else? I don't know. I think that's it guys. This is how I fish, how I going to be fishing for the rest of this month. I mean, yeah, basically your tape, don't forget your tape to measure the fish. Uh, I just got guys a new fishing rod that I bought like three weeks ago is, and it's this one, it's a offshore angler power stick. I really like this rod, it's a 12 feet. And I have here the Shimano Spiros SW6000 on it. It's very nice and smooth too. It's very nice. I really recommend uh, this rod. If you are thinking on buy one uh, surf rod, check 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 this one out on uh, Bass Pro. Offshore angler, power stick, 12 foot. Very nice and smooth. With this one, the first, I think that, I don't even remember if it, that was the first time or the second time when I tried this rod, I got, I got, I got a, 30 inches rockfish at Sandy Point. <laughs> that was that was awesome. And uh, okay, this one, the real, the breakaway rig, and these kind of sinkers, guys. Believe me, it's gonna it, they gonna make the difference for you between catch or 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 not fish, you know. And of course, I have this thing for with me always. WD40 for my pliers. Uh, I don't know guys, I think that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If, if you guys have any questions, something, uh, any comment for me, remember down below, uh, I'm gonna answer all your questions for you guys. Thanks for the support. Please share the video if you like it, share the video. Give this video a like, subscribe down below. And uh, I don't know, I think that's it, everyone. Wow, what else I have something here. This one, I told you about this one in the past. This one is, helps a lot when you have a bunch of rods and you have to walk uh, from the parking to the beach. These things keep uh, your rods all together. Um, nothing, I think that's it everyone, thanks a lot. Mi gente, pues espero que este tutorial les haya gustado. Eh, es como yo pesco eh, eh, en este mes que nos queda, nos queda un mes para, para, para pescar por rockfish. Eh, tenemos que usar, amigos, yo recomiendo mucho el Breakaway Rig. Este lo encuentran, recuerden, en Basto Shop. Es el único lugar donde lo encuentran. Si no lo pueden ver por ahí, pues uh, pueden uh, preguntar ahí a la gente. Es bien importante... Eh, la última vez yo estuve usando Perch por, para carnada porque ya no venden uh, ya no venden uh, Pillar Crab, tampoco Alewife. So usé el, el Perch 
y funcionó de verdad. So, atrapen Perch con estos ganchitos bien pequeños, número uno. Y con este, este rig de metal que van a encontrar en Walmart y estos ganchitos también en Walmart. Atrapen Perch, saquen el filete y úsenlo en su Breakaway Rig. O ya sea en el Fish Finder Rig. Estos sinkers, estas plomadas también ayudan demasiado a tirar un poco más lejos, mi gente. Se las recomiendo. Cuestan como 6 dólares cada una, pero, pero de verdad que hacen la diferencia. Las campanas, no se les olvide. Para cuando, para cuando están pescando, para que el, el, el les dé esa alerta que uno, que uno desea escuchar ahí el ruido para saber si tenemos un pescado o no. Saquen el filete al perch y úsenlo en el de este rig. El, el Fish Finder Rig, amigos, creo que mucho, algunos de ustedes ya han de saber cómo, pero para los que no saben, les voy a hacer una pequeña muestra. Se ocupa este slider que van a encontrar en Anglers o en cualquier lugar de donde venden carnada. Van a poner su plomada aquí en este slider que se llama van a meter su línea principal de su caña en la parte amarilla esto se llama slider deslizador porque se desliza y esto es lo que prácticamente es el fish finder rig entonces ya van a tener por acá por otro lado su, su gancho con su suivo en la otra punta estos háganlos de unas 13 o 12 pulgadas, amigo. Entonces, pongan aquí, amarren bien. Aquí en la otra punta de su línea va a ir su suivo. Se llaman suivos esas cositas. Y así va a quedar ya terminado, amigos. Así tiene que quedar. Miren, este es el um, Fish Finder Rig. Ok. Esta cinta se la recomiendo demasiado porque ayuda a no cortarse los dedos. Si de repente uno se corta y no sabe qué usar, a veces usas tape uh, de ese negro eléctrico, pero esto ayuda demasiado. Esta cinta no se rompe, no se gasta. Bueno, se pones y, y la tiras cuando terminas de pescar ese día, pero uh, es muy buena. Es lo que necesitas también. Estas cosas yo las uso para amarrar, para mantener mis, mis líneas juntas cuando voy a caminar lejos del parking a la playa. La, me las uso para mantenerlas juntas y, y, y no se me mueven siempre están bien juntas todos los palos este lo uso para mis, uh, mis mis pinzas para sacarle el juca a los pescados este los pongo cuando ya están duras por la sal y así les pongo el, el WD-40 y amigos pues aquí muchos de ustedes ya saben verdad pero los voy a repetir me acabo de agarrar una caña de 12 pies es una offshore angler 12 pies y es una power stick la verdad si están pensando en comprar una se las recomiendo es una 12 pies es bien buena es bien buena yo la recomiendo